So what is this anyway? Still alive and kicking in X6. Alright, well... X6, here we come! Every bullet has its billet. Wait, I have bullets? Zeppelin crash and I'm stuck here. Skull is the key. I need to seal it away. Oh, what the hell? This is insane. Wow. So I need to probably collect the crystals and then also move those little blocks. Solve the riddles of this ancient treasure map. Okay, there's a Gundam there. Huh. This is so weird. Wow, they have terrible aim. Stormtroopers. Some traps at the entrance. Wait, spiders? What else is there? Find the man. This is your last mission. A man wants to solve the riddles of this island. Let's give him a nudge and harvest souls along the way. Wow, we're so nice. So that's wind? Is that wind? The island is full of mysterious powers. We can use the something to control the weather. Take it for a spin. Wind, storm, rain, I think. Oh. Okay, so it's one cycle. I can create the cycles. That's actually interesting. Oh, angel every single time? Holy crap. That's annoying. How do you get it? How indeed. So this is my target, right? He looks like an easy kill. Wait. The skull is guarding this, right? The relic has been lost. Uh, Idaho Lee? What to do, what to do? Saw. What is this? Oh, it's a thief. Grab it. Damn, I'm so evil helping thieves. Spider! There's a snake, too. Wait, what? Attack him! Oh, it's two cycles, okay. First hmm. Double kill. That was an easy one. What? Oh, what happened here? Crap! There was only one angel, too. Oh, that's bad. Are you serious? You're not even looking that way. Oh, that's disgusting. So what does this do? Oh, it's just go to the altar, I guess. Too many mercenaries. Really? Holy crap. 
That's awesome. Oh, that's how you lure them over. I see. Really? Come on. That's ridiculous. There we go, finally. What? Holy crap, how do you hit this guy? Oh, there we go. Can you get it now? I have the purple. What about this thing? Can I still kill him without the bugs? Thunderstruck. Oh, that's such an easy kill. Oh, it's the other way. Whoops. What's this do? Vortex. Uh. Meat rack. I wish it showed the direction it rolled. Antenna. Huh. That's for lightning, I guess. Hippo? Killer plant again? Lots of lightning stuff. Alright, so how do I get rid of this thing? Or how do I trigger this thing, I should say? This guy's so dead. Oh my god! Oh, beast whale! Tentacles? Tentacle rain? Oh! What are they doing? Alright, let's figure out some more things before I uh, turn on the weather. Meat? Water damage. So there's some water stuff too, or a lot of water stuff too. Oh crap, I think I wasted it. Because it shot it into the, the wires, didn't it? Lasers. Oh, one time only. Oh, ouch. What's next? What do these even do? Guide the submarine. Oh! I can kill different people with the submarine. That's so cool. Okay. Are there more of them? No. What's up here? Okay, what's up here? Controls the feet of the statue. Cannon? There's no flying objects though. This is like something rolling down, isn't it? That's what it looks like. No energy. This is energy, though. Oh! Chain reaction! Here to here to here. Make this explode. Damn it. Double kill. 
kill. What is this one? Fire the laser? Which laser? Oops. Fire the laser. Fan. Huh? So many unknowns at the moment. I'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Okay, let's do it. Lightning. So now what? Oh, holy crap. I couldn't kill him. What is this, cannon? Oh, I got him there. Oh, I need to make the water go down. I didn't expect that one. Thought I was gonna call aliens or something. Okay, where else do I need to use lightning here? What? I need to make the water go down then, right? That's what it seems like. Hmm. So a bunch of these lightning things, they weren't really effective. Oh, here. Wait, no, this is wind. Wind gives it power, not lightning. Is that a kite? Crap. Let's do wind again. Alright. So I can just keep on doing this part until I can kill everything. No? How do I charge this? Oh! Wait, can I do lightning right now? No, I can't, right? No. What is that? Oh. This is probably something. So how do I fire the laser? It needs to go all the way around. There's so many angels now. Kill. That many mercenaries? Oh! Oh! That was a double! Okay. Well, the wind is stopped. Oh! It's this. Lightning strikes that. Goes here to here to here. Makes this explode. Right? Is that how it works? Gotta be really careful though. Nice. Oh, nice chain reaction. Yeah, that was how it worked. Bye. I haven't done rain yet, huh? What is that? Berries? Hippos love the berries. Maybe I need to use the wind to blow it towards the hippo. Aw, oh, sad whale. Something's hiding inside its head. That didn't work. That worked. Kill. That worked. Crap, there's too many angels. Get out of here. Is that good enough? No. Wait, scarabs. Oh! It's gonna eat the fish, right? Is the crystal here? Harp? 
Oh, she came to life. Wait, why are they sailing now? That was a good one. I guess they got attracted by the singing, because sirens and all. I'm totes not presentable. Oh my god, who says that? So this attracts all of them. Oh my god. Wait, why are they not attacking? What now? Do I bomb the mermaid? Because that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, what a wreck. Okay, let's do uh, the wind one. I mean, the, the rain one. I haven't done this one yet. This is this might flood the entire area, right? Oh, what's that? Oh, holy crap, it's all flooded. What else is there? That's for lightning. But the water puts it out, unfortunately. Hmm. How what? Who are you? This area is the most confusing to me. That was horrible. Oh, is this poison? Oh, we gotta blow the poison. Oops. Wait, what happened there? Oh, I thought it was a puzzle or something where you attach some stuff to the walls, but it just got stuck for some reason. Wind blows it there. Jeez, there's so much to remember. Let's try wind. Wind blowing the mines here to kill the mermaid, I think. Maybe? Wind blowing the meat over... No? I don't get it. Huh. I don't get it. How do I get rid of this? Only three shots left. That was two shots, right? Oh, no wind! Crap! Lost my opportunity. Yeah, this one's really hard. I'm not even sure where to, to begin. Should I try wind again? Let's try lightning again. Something here got struck by lightning, or was that the UFO? Wow, I'm actually stumped. How do I get the final one? I gotta... Wait, huh? My heart was devoured by that shot. 
Oh, it's just an event to trigger people to move. Hmm. Creature with huge claws in the rainy day? It's not this, is it? Harp. That didn't work. What else requires rain? I'm screwing this up so badly. Check this side. Nothing? There's a Gundam. Where was the Gundam anyway? It's hidden. That's the treasure I need to unlock, I think. There's a vortex. How does the vortex work? Is it during the rain? Or is it during the wind when he moves? Oh, the logs! Oh, that's how it works. I see. Okay, okay. Oh, now this will roll down here and break this one. And then it rolls down here. Oh, it's a chain reaction. Or it's like a multi-cycle one. Don't flush your oil. Now that something is gone, I can... I'll have to take the raft myself. Why? This is on, right? Crap! Ah! Am I dead? Oh, I died! <sighs> I can't skip this. Let me skip it! I know what this is already. Oh my god, this cutscene can't be skipped. Are you serious? Alright, let's try this out. So how is this supposed to work? Oh, okay. I have an idea now. So let's just, uh... Yeah, let's just start with this one again. Damn it. That missed? Double kill? Triple kill! Let's start the weather, actually. Let's start the wind first. That triggers all of them, or makes them go all the way. Okay, so there's the power. Let's start the poison cloud here, I guess. Oh! Oh, that's how it works. I gotta wait until it blows over. Wait, is he gonna walk into it? Please walk into it. Wait, I got a double? <laughs> it hit a second person. What is that? Mercenaries are resting inside. Huh. 
Wow, I missed. How do I make the alligator attack? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's so disgusting. Okay. Is that gonna kill him? That better kill him, right? Oh, come on. Fine, we'll go with the coconut. No? What is this? Sand vortex. Oh, that's what the swirl is. Oh, you trap them and then you use the tentacle, I see. Okay, I get it now. Oops, I don't get it. Mm. What can I do at the moment? I can do the feet. Very badly. Oh, whoops. I didn't know there was a guy there. I will never leave unless everyone on the island is dead. What the hell, really? Huh. Oh, nice juke. What am I doing now? Let's do win one more time. Wind powered. My timing, though. How do you get it? I gotta figure out too. Where's that barrel that goes there? Hmm. Damn it! I thought I could click it fast enough. Wind's over now. Let's do lightning. So vicious. What is this guy doing? Is there a B part? No, I don't think so. That was last time. Hmm. Oh, there's meat here. It's something with the water damage. So that's a rain one. Oh! Oh, that's how he gets it. I see. Now what? How do I kill him now? Why won't he walk there? What's this? This looks dangerous. How do I kill this guy again? Or did I not do it? I don't think I did. Water damage? Ah, it just gets their attention because they know that it might take water damage.
coming from this thing. Oh, there's something there! I didn't notice that the first time. Oh, it's Ryoma! Ryoma OP. Okay, so I need to vortex this guy. There's so many angels here though, holy crap. Oh, that was a close one. That's so scary. Get out of here, angels! Okay, that's good. Still gotta do more kills though. I missed my chance with the lightning. Hmm. Gotta do lightning again then. Lightning and wind again. Oh, that's how I do it. Right. I need to attract them here. Kill. <laughs> right, that's how you do it. Easy. So the most difficult one is still this. I have no idea how to get this. Hmm. Oh! Ryoma. Ryoma's everywhere. I guess she's done win first. He's not dead? Damn it. Oh, that's how I kill that guy. Where else can I use fire? This is like a chain reaction thing. I never got to do it before I died last time. Maybe he just runs for it. What else needs lightning? Up here, right? There's something here. No? Huh. I think I just added angels for no reason then. I should get him, right? Really? That's actually pretty troll. I think that requires water. What else requires wind? I gotta do this now. Holy crap, this is so scary. There's too many angels. This is so annoying. What's the point of all these angels anyway? Other than being annoying. Uh... That do? Oh, just change the, the location. Doesn't really do anything, huh? Hmm. What does this do? Flying objects, but there are no flying objects that I know of yet. Crap! Did I miss my chance to kill him? Because I killed him. Oh, they respawn. Okay, is he gonna grab it now? Oh, he is gonna grab it. Nice! 
So now he's gonna trigger the altar and then summon the robot, I think. Return it to this area, but I need to kill everyone there. Oh, I need to kill her? Triple kill. Everyone on the island is dead. She needs the entire island? I don't think I can do that. That's really difficult. Does she mean like everyone that isn't native to the island? Like all the mercenaries and stuff? Because if that's the case... The alarm doesn't work anymore. Oh, don't click that. a miss oh mushroom poison mushroom ride the winds across the river is that a kill That's what the mine was. Is that something? No. He's avoiding the death trap. They're all avoiding it. Damn. Oh crap, it's over already. Gotta do it again. No, it's too many angels. How do I kill this guy? Is he the siren? Ryoma! Ryoma? Okay, I haven't used this one yet. I don't know- oh, that's- that's what it's for, for him. Oh, when you call the siren! He goes over to here, right? Is that what it is? Okay, what else requires rain? This guy has to be the gas cloud. There's a... Okay, I did that one already. There's meat. Holy crap, this is so hard. Can I loosen these? No. It's a mine there. Oh, this guy's still alive? What the hell? Let's make sure he dies. Really? <sighs> it needs to show like a range indicator or something. Wow, I need to kill him with this then. Or just spill fire on him? Maybe that works. Damn it! These angels are so annoying. Oh, 
Oh, it's out of logs. What else is lightning here? So confusing. No, I hit it too early. Oh, that's how you kill him. That was an easy one. Wait, what happened? Oh, I thought it auto scrolled for some reason. That's so random. Ah, oh, it doesn't kill him. So this guy just can't die now. Oh, I can probably just laser them, huh? That's how you do it. Mess that up again. Did he walk over the spikes that time? I think he did. Oh, angel, 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 angel. That should get him. There we go. Oh, there are so many angels now. This is ridiculous. Oh, she's gone. Is he stuck? Why is he not moving across? Or, or is he? Okay. First clear. Oh, I'm done. Okay. Let's see if I can get a few more kills. Can I kill with this one? Just one? Holy crap, these angels, calm down. Yeah, there are way too many angels. This is ridiculous. that okay what's next rain again right for the barrel oh my 
god. Oh, that's how I kill him, right. I forgot about that one. Ooh, scary. Is he bugged then? Maybe he's bugged up. Can I cancel the rain? Damn. This guy can die to the razor as well. This guy has, needs to die to the lightning. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, what am I doing now? This is, this is possibly a triple kill if all of them walk over here. Double kill. Ah, good enough. Okay, uh, what else is there? What else can I do? I'm so scared right now. Where does the water flow now? Nowhere. Or the barrel. So it's just this guy. How do you get 94 kills? 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven. There's only seven kills left. Oh, eight. And then you hit the silver one. I guess you get a bunch of kills from the, the Gundam coming out, I assume. Oh, this guy too. Nine? Did I count him? Oh, that's how you kill this guy. I didn't even notice that one. Okay, I think that'll be it then. That was a hard one, for sure. Your work here is done. You will be brought back to life. Your replacement is already on the way. Now get out of my sight. Yay, I'm alive! You're awake. There's something important, but I can't remember. You should watch out for hazards. Watch out for hazards! Rip. Life is short, enjoy it while it lasts. Stay safe. I guess that's it for the game then. Really short game, as expected. I'll uh, do my closing statements in a little bit. Alright, let's do the closing statements for Death Coming. I think this one will legit be short. Usually I kind of go off on random tangents about some things, but uh, this game really doesn't have much to talk about. Just a bit of a preface again for closing statements. Uh, these are reflections, not a review or anything formal like that. Just a few words to end off the game. Gonna reiterate some ideas with some guided points, that's all. Okay, so uh, to start off, the visual and audio stuff. Usually I talk about this first. The art style I think is really cool. It's a cute pixel art. It's pretty well animated for the most part. Uh, even though there are some things that are a little bit weird looking, but... Generally speaking, most of the characters and environments look pretty good. The sound, on the other hand, that's one of the weaker parts of the game, I think. The music just, most of the time, just sounds like white noise to me. It's really not memorable. It's just kind of there. That's it. <laughs> Nothing really else to say about that. And the sound effects, I think I mentioned this since the beginning. The cheesy first blood and, and double kill and all that stuff. I... I don't, I don't know what 
they did it. I mean, I have an idea of why they did it. Uh, gonna make a lot of assumptions, but games like Dota and Warcraft 3, uh, they're really popular in China, in some parts of China. So you know, that could be one of the inspirations. And I guess MOBAs, RTS for the longest time was a very popular genre. Not so much anymore. But uh, MOBAs obviously are still very popular nowadays. Probably what the inspiration is. And I mean, some of the you know, the isometric view of the game is also reminiscent of that as well. So that could be it. But uh, yeah, all the audio stuff in this game is a little bit weak. Could be better. Story? What is story? I feel like they kind of... Maybe not. Maybe they didn't drop the ball per se. But I felt like there was some untapped potential. So we didn't really get into the lore of the world. In fact, the world is pretty nonsensical. It's a really whimsical and absurd game. So there really isn't much story. Like We don't know anything about the angels. We don't know anything about the death, Grim Reaper. About the rules of the world, aside from the rules of the game. Um, we don't know where it takes place. We don't know why there are aliens. I mean, all of it, I'm pretty sure, is just there to be whimsical and strange. But they started off with some semblance of a story. Like, oh, you were run over by a car. There's somebody, your girlfriend or your wife. She's worried about you. You know, there's some inspiration there. There could be some semblance of a story, even a basic one. Because even games that don't that really focus on story, they have some kind of story that pushes the game along and you know, kind of gets you involved as the player to you know think about the, the stuff that's happening and why you're doing it, the motivations behind all your actions. But there really isn't any of that, so story is non-existent. So gameplay then. Gameplay is the major one. Generally speaking, I think the gameplay is all right, but it's not great. Because this game kind of promoted itself as this kind of death simulator, killing simulator, but it's just like a point and click, where's Waldo? Where's Wally? If you're not familiar with the name. I think he's known as both Waldo and Wally in different parts of the world. I remember him as Waldo, I think. No, regardless, that's, that's not the point. The point is, that's basically what this game is. You find people and you click them. It's like a mobile game, so the gameplay really isn't very interesting. I mean, if there's one word to describe this game, it would be boring, to be honest. Uh, so I think I made a mistake by choosing it as a break game because I wasn't necessarily bored of playing my usual games, the platformers and RPGs that I usually play. But I did want to change the pace, something exciting. <laughs> this definitely did not deliver on that part. That's pretty upsetting, but whatever. It's a cheap game, just wanted to pass the time with it. And uh, I talked about the, the isometric part of the game as well. I think the game being isometric actually did hurt it a bit. Um, I know that you know, it's probably standard for a game like this, where you can scroll around the map and select things. You know, just like RTS and classic MOBAs. Uh, but in those games, the devs actually work hard to try and make the animations match up with hitboxes. And during some parts of this playthrough, the hitboxes were just so off. And part of it was my own fault, like bad timing or whatever. But some of the other ones, it, I, I don't know what happened there. It's pretty bad. And I think in a, especially in a game like this, if you miss an attack, you might just not clear the map. Because you have to get a certain number of kills. If you miss the kill, then it's over. So it, it can be pretty detrimental to your playthrough. It's not really something you can say like, eh, nah, it kind of works. I'm okay with that. Like, this is one of those things that really has to work. So it's, it's a key part of the game that doesn't truly deliver. And I think, you know, going back to the Where's Waldo thing, it's interesting. I think conceptually it's interesting. It's just poorly executed. They could have done it so much better. They could have made it so that there's like a randomly generated portion of the map where some people are just randomly there. You have to be more clear about that as well. And then there are the, the dedicated kills or like more scripted kills that you can only do once. And if they're gonna give us like one time use or three time use objects, they need to make it show before you start spamming them. So you're more careful. It gives the player a bit of awareness to their actions. Because for the last map especially, those uh, cannons, it says, oh, only three uses. And then when you use it, it's like, oh, only three uses. 
Why not make the counter go down? It's not very difficult to have a number change in the game. Even I can do it. Even I can program that. And I only know pretty basic programming. So, yeah. A lot of really awkward things that could be improved pretty easily by a little bit of polish. One of the other really annoying things about the gameplay is the angels. In a lot of games, what they do is they add some kind of hazard to make it more difficult to complete the stage. That's basically what the angels do. But, I mean, as a developer, you need to think, like, what exactly are these angels adding to the puzzles of the game? If you can even call them that. Because the game was pitched as a puzzle game, you gotta figure things out, but everything is just patterns. And, you know, figuring out when you can kill people and how you can kill them. So it's more like a rinse and repeat, trial and error kind of game. If that's the case, then the angels don't really add anything, they're just there to annoy you. It's like, oh, well, you can't click something at this time. That's it. That doesn't add to the puzzle. Other puzzle games add more complexity to the puzzle. For example, some things become unavailable or more difficult to move around. I mean, this game kind of does that with the weather conditions, too. But what's the point of the angels? I think the weather part is really cool. It actually adds a new dynamic to the game, but the angels don't. It's like, oh, the angels are after you. It'd be more interesting if the angels could save people if you took too long, or could protect people. That way, they don't die to certain hazards, and you have to figure out a new way to kill the person. Now just add more dynamic, interactive gameplay that lets you think a bit more, because it really doesn't do that properly in a lot of the gameplay aspects in the game. It's very unfortunate. But regardless, all of the, the mechanics, after a while, kind of get used to it. It's more or less all right, but I wouldn't say it's good. It's okay. If good is like a above average, okay is like passable. So just to finish off, I guess, I think much else to say about it. If you just want a game to pass the time, to kill time with, this game is fine. You can get it for, probably when it's on sale, you can get it for like three bucks or something. So it's, it's a really cheap game. It's like three bucks for two, three hours of gameplay if you just play it once. There's, you know, those trophies you can go for if you really enjoy just clicking around and doing random stuff. It's, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's a funny game. Death is not funny, but you know, they kind of make it funny at parts. Um, and it's, it's mildly interesting, some of the weird, wacky stuff in the game too. So that much was enjoyable. If that's all right with you, then I think the game is all right, but I probably wouldn't recommend this. Um, if you just like simple point-and-click mobile style games, then you know, this is the game for you. But if you want something a little more compelling, there's a lot of games out there that you can get better value for, for sure. So uh, yeah, that'll be it for Death Coming then. It's been at least somewhat interesting. I'm Ventus, this was Death Coming, not Death Stranding, and uh, music's gone. Better say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. No, no, it started again. Ah.